this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! Good morning! I'm of course going to be joined by William Beaver today, and you know I'm going to be joined by William Beaver because you can see him. <laughs> Anyway, before I go and uh, head back to the uh, the fun land, uh, so we can carry on building our slime time game, I'm of course going to go and have my breakfast, which is once again, of course, going to be a cake. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, absolutely delicious, as it absolutely always is. I'm so glad I can actually make tasty cakes again. <laughs> there was a long period where I didn't have any tasty cakes. It's nice to uh, to be getting them back again. And Barnaby, are you? Are you okay? You're looking a little bit shy all of a sudden. Are you? Are you still asleep, Barnaby? Barnaby, wake up! It's a, it's a new day. There's no point burying your nose in the crafting table. <laughs> Barnaby! Barnaby, stop hiding! Barnaby! Barnaby, get your nose out of that crafting table. I'm gonna count to three. There we go. That got you to turn around. <laughs> I don't know what was so fascinating inside of there. Anyway, uh, let's go and head to the uh, the love garden, shall we? And I can announce uh, who it is uh, that I'm adding to it today. And then, of course, uh, we are going to be heading back to the uh, the fun land uh, where we can carry on uh, building the the game we started building uh, in the the last episode. And oh, <laughs> I kind of got the uh, the wrong place here. There we go. Uh, today, uh, to the love garden, I am adding Abigail, and that's because she made this model of me uh, and a cake as well, of course, uh, with her friend, who you can see as well in the uh, the picture. And it's me made out of a uh, Connect blocks, I think they're called, and uh, I've never seen them before, and I've never seen a Stampy Cat version of them before, and I thought it was really cool and really creative, as I wanted to say thank you for making it and sending me the uh, the picture, and welcome to my love garden. Uh, right then, uh, let's go and uh, head over to the uh, the fun land, shall we? Um, uh, of course, I'm going to go and uh, choose which dog uh, is going to be joining us to, today as well, and I think we're going to walk to the fun land today. <laughs> I think rather than trying to ride the boat uh, or go in the, the teleporter, I'm going to have a good old fashioned jog. It's probably a good idea uh, after eating my cake uh, to go for a little bit of a, a run just so I, uh, so I don't get uh, to become too much of a, a chubby kitty cat. <laughs> anyway, uh, who shall I be joined by today? Let's be uh, joined by... Tell you what, I know who we're going to be joined by. Barnaby, you can sit there. We're going to be joined by none of the uh, the dogs from the, the doghouse. Uh, let's go and get Gregory Jr. We can pick him up uh, on our way to the, uh, the game. All uh, right then, William Beaver. Last one to the game is is a smelly carrot. What do you say? So, no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Come back, William Beaver, come back. I haven't started yet. No, come stand next to me. Make sure it's fair. Come stand next to me and go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, no, it's really slow. Right, go, go. To be fair, I do have a disadvantage because I need to go and I need to stop off and get Gregory on my way and uh, William Beaver can run straight there. So uh, I was a little bit sneaky then by making him come back and trying to run off, uh, but it does uh, it makes it a little bit more fair because I have to go uh, all the way to the uh, the golf course first and then go back to the the game. And uh, if you didn't see the the last episode, uh, the game uh, is a slime themed game, and I was able to find uh, two slimes and I, I did name them by the way. We made an anvil and I was able to to name them. Uh, one's called Pink and and one's called blue and uh, the aim of the game is to get them from one side of the the level to the area but there's going to be a whole load of gaps uh, in the uh, the floor uh, which is what uh, we're going to, to be building today. So hopefully, uh, with Billy Beaver's help, uh, we'll be able to get the uh, the the uh, the entire game done. Uh, so then in the, the next episode, we'll be able to play it. And I'm pretty sure uh, that I have lost this race, seeing as uh, it took me so long to get here. Uh, but Gregory Jr., uh, you can stand up and uh, you can join us. And uh, while I'm going past the cakes, nom, 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 nom. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Gregory Jr., didn't mean to make you sit down there. Uh, let's go and uh, have a little bit of, uh, of comfort food and uh, let's keep running. I don't know, maybe if I'm really quick, uh, I would be able to, to get there. I don't no, maybe uh, William Beaver stopped off to play one of the, the other games on his uh, his way here. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm guessing he went to, to try and win. And uh, the reason I got William Beaver joining me today is because he is very quick at digging. He's very strong and uh, he loves mining as well. And uh, we need to dig out a, a big pit under the, the area. And so I thought he would be the uh, the best person to dig it out. And while he's doing that, uh, I'm going to be building the uh, the rest of the, the game uh, on the uh, the top of it. So uh, we're pretty much arrived at the game. I can just see the uh, the top top of the uh, the blue slime here over the uh, the mole hole game and I'm guessing I'm going to see a very happy William Beaver uh, standing around here somewhere uh, because he won the the race so actually is he here yet is he here oh actually oh he is here he's hiding in the corner <laughs> I suddenly realized 
He might not have known uh, where this game was because he's not seen it before, but he was able to find his way here and he of course won the race. And down here we have pink and uh, over here we have blue. They seem to have, uh, have switched sides for some reason, but they're going to be uh, happily bouncing around all over the, the place uh, while we build. So, all right then, uh, let's go and start building, shall we? So Gregory Jr., I'm going to sit you down just on the, the outside here uh, because we're going to be doing lots of digging today and uh, dogs can dig very well in real life, uh, but not quite so well in Minecraft. So I guess the, the first thing to do is to try and dig out the, the floor. I don't, I think it might be a good idea. Uh, to put Pinky uh, and uh, Blue uh, into a cage or something. Or, I don't know, maybe fence them off, because uh, I'm really scared that we're going to, to hit them uh, while we're digging. So, um, William Beaver, uh, would you be able to make just a little fence somewhere? If I throw you some wood, uh, just so we can maybe fence them off, uh, so we don't accidentally uh, knock them uh, while we're digging uh, away. I don't want it to, to be too dangerous. So, uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to go and uh, start digging down here. So, uh, we need to dig, uh, I need to dig three blocks down, and uh, the reason for that... Uh, is because uh, the, the floor is going to be a uh, blue wall as well. So the drop is only going to be two blocks down. Uh, so that way it won't hurt the, the slimes. Uh, but we want the, the floor to be blue wall. Because uh, otherwise it's going to look like sand. And that won't look very nice. So let me go and uh, dig down underneath here as well. And then it's going to be relatively simple. Well, some bits are going to be simple and some bits are harder. So at first, uh, there's going to be two very simple uh, jumps. Uh, where it's basically going to be like a line along here, uh, which is the uh, the gap uh, which the uh, the slimes need to jump over. Uh, but then there's going to be like uh, a bit of a checkered pattern uh, at the uh, the end, uh, which they need to try and get over. So basically, uh, like like uh, rows of holes uh, of both colours, if that makes any sense. Uh, so you kind of need to jump the slime diagonally, uh, or just be very very accurate uh, with uh, how you make the uh, the slime jump. So that's going to be the uh, the hardest bit. And then, of course, because it's symmetrical again, uh, once you get to the, the other side, uh, you've got to jump over the, the same pits. And I have not tested this game at all. So uh, we're going to have to see uh, whether it's going to be too hard or too easy so we can test it out uh, before we have the uh, the tournament and uh, see just how well uh, the, the game is going to, to work. So I've dug out uh, quite a uh, big area here. So if I kind of make a little staircase for myself uh, so I can get out, I can go and start building this side uh, while William Beaver goes and digs out the the rest so the uh, the first part we're going to have here, uh, this is going to be where the uh, the slimes are going to start. So there's going to be a, a little pit down here, if I go and put the, the floor down. And so this is where the, the slimes are going to start off uh, before the game begins. So they're going to be down here uh, in this little pit, just like this. And then all I need to do is add some levers, and uh, they're going to push out these blocks uh, so the slimes can jump out, uh, which will go and uh, and start the game. So I guess I might as well uh, start doing that first, uh, seeing as it's the, the first part of the, the game. So if I dig away down here a bit as well uh, then I'll be able to, to see what I'm doing and uh, it's gonna be very simple it's just literally uh, a few pistons down uh, just to, to push these blocks forward so if I break these away again and then I want to add the the pistons in here and here and then I can put the, the light blue wall uh, on front of them here again. And then do the, the same on this side here as well. If I break away the, the wall and put one piston there and one there. Uh, so this is what the, the pit's going to look like normally. Uh, so when the slime's in here, they can be jumping up and down. Uh, but they can't actually uh, escape anywhere. And well, actually, I guess you could put the slimes in here maybe. Actually, I think uh, William Beaver's already put them somewhere else. So it doesn't matter. All right then. Uh, so let's go now and uh, try and add the, the redstone in. So while I'm doing this, uh, William Beaver, you can just go and dig the entire a thing down uh, so we can go and uh, carry on building the the rest in a minute so uh, all this needs uh, is some very simple redstone uh, which is just going to be pointing to these pistons and it will loop around to the other side and then I just need to find somewhere to add just one lever down uh, which is going to make these go off and that is literally uh, the only redstone uh, which is going to be re uh, reti uh, retired <laughs> required uh, in the the game whatsoever so let's go uh, around the uh, where's the pit so if we go around uh, about here and uh, dig along here like this. Uh, there can be one trail of redstone uh, going uh, along the floor here. Uh, so it basically means you only need to pull one lever and it will make both sides of the, the pistons extend. So uh, where are the pistons on this side? They should be somewhere. Uh, oh no, I think they're a little bit further back. There we go. Uh, here are the, the pistons here. So uh, while I do this on uh, this side, uh, William Beaver can hopefully do the, the same on the, the other side. He doesn't like redstone very much, uh, but this should hopefully uh, be simple enough for him to, to work out. Uh, so let's go and dig this away here. 
and then I just need to add some redstone pointing into these ones. Uh, I think this should work like this. And then if I go around the outside here, I need to add this wall uh, back in here. Uh, so there's not a, a big hole for the, the slimes to go through. And uh, let's do this trail going along like this. Uh, and then it can go from here. Uh, into the uh, the pistons uh, like this and uh, then I need to find somewhere uh, to add my lever I think if I add it uh, on the the top up here somewhere maybe if I add it in here uh, this should be okay uh, so let me just go and actually make the the lever then I don't think I need a crafting table nope I don't and I can go and try and test this out I'm not sure if the redstone is actually uh, going to the uh, the pistons I'm not sure if it is on this side and oh I think that worked okay so that one got pushed back uh, but this other one here didn't I don't know if the the redstone needs to, uh, um, maybe if I do it like this and then like that, is it going to get extended? If I leave the, uh, the piston pulled, is it, oh no, look, it's not underneath. It needs to be underneath here, otherwise it's not going to be set off. I also, I think I need to add a, a repeater going around this way uh, so we can go and uh, make it to the other side. So let's go and uh, add this in here. I don't know if I actually need to maybe add a, a few repeaters uh, to make sure it actually goes uh, to them. Because if you can see, it kind of... Actually, if I maybe do this and then just loop this one around here. I'm pretty sure I'm not doing this in the, the most uh, efficient way, <laughs> but hopefully it's working. There we go. Those ones have uh, have both been pushed back. And then if I kind of do the, the same here and do it like that, there we go. It's working. I think it's all uh, working. So you can see now if I get rid of this dirt, uh, if I pull this back, it looks like just a normal pit. And then I pull it again and then it all goes and gets pulled forward like this. So then the slime uh, will be able to, to jump out and uh, go its uh, its merry way. So that's probably the, uh, the most complicated part of the uh, the entire build done uh, let's go now and uh, try and get the uh, the easiest side done it looks like uh, William Beaver's been very busy digging if you worry about just digging all of this area out first William Beaver uh, then we can worry about the the redstone afterwards so uh, let me just go and uh, fill in uh, all of the the mess that I've made and I can go and start working on the the rest so I need to go down here and I just need to fill in the the top of this area here uh, I don't want anyone to see my redstone it's always good to uh, to cover it up so people don't know how it works and uh, now uh, let's go and and do the the next part so here uh, there's going to be uh, kind of like um I guess like a little staircase and uh, what this area is going to be for is if the the slimes uh, accidentally fall down the hole uh, there needs to be a way uh, to get them back out of the the hole uh, so you can go and have another go so you'll basically guide them uh, through the the floor uh, bring them back to the the start and then they can go and uh, get up on the the side here so uh, there's basically going to be just uh, a slightly raised bit I guess I could do it maybe uh, about here like this uh, so then this way uh, once they get to, to here uh, they could go and try and pile up and if I go to here as well uh, so the rest is all going to be down uh, on this level uh, here like this uh, but then this bit you can see is slightly raised up uh, so they can then go and uh, jump up there so let's go and uh, fill in this side here like this uh, but I want to leave a, a gap here because uh, that is where the the slime's going to go down and then uh, I'm basically uh, going to go and do the uh, the exact same thing uh, on this side over here so I want the uh, the gap to be right up against the the wall here and uh, let's go and just do the uh, the top the the same here and uh, fill all of the the rest in because uh, the rest is all going to be at this height uh, apart from the uh, the pits uh, that the the slime is going to fall down so this needs to be like this and then this bit here is slightly raised and then it gets slightly raised actually I think I need to go uh, one further in yeah if I break away uh, these here as well and then this needs to go uh, like this here, I think. There we go. Uh, this is the, the same on both sides. So this is basically where the uh, the slime can jump back up uh, if it falls down uh, on one of the, the other obstacles. So now I can go and actually uh, start doing uh, some of the, the obstacles themselves. So I'm going to do a, a bit of a dark blue uh, wall here uh, just to kind of mark the obstacles because otherwise uh, the entire game is going to look the, the same. Uh, but of course on the, the other side, uh, it's going to be uh, blue and... Uh, not blue, sorry, uh, pink and purple uh, just so it's the... Uh, the same colors as the the slime so uh, this is going to be one of the the very simple gaps uh, that you simply need to make the the slime jump over so you need to kind of guide it to here and then you jump over and then hopefully uh, the slime is going to jump over after you and uh, not fall down so I'm going to go and do two of these uh, which are going to be right next to each other like this and look at William Beaver go <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen someone dig so fast look how much he's dug down already we are going to get this thing built in no time so as I said uh, here I'm just going to do uh, another one of these obstacles and I'm hoping... 
that these are going to be relatively easy. Seeing as uh, uh, you need to kind of do it four times, uh, this is kind of the, the easiest part of the challenge. I don't want it to be too easy, uh, but I don't want it to be impossibly hard either. <laughs> so then I'm going to do uh, another light br uh, blue stripe here, and uh, then I'm going to go and uh, start the uh, the checkered pattern, which I told you about. But instead of being uh, a checkered pattern uh, with the uh, the two different colors, uh, it is basically uh, going to be uh, with, uh, with pits. Uh, so basically I'm going to go and uh, do a blue wall there, and then leave a gap and do it there. There like this and so you can see how this is going to be uh, a lot more difficult uh, than the uh, than the other one is so that needs to be blue there and then underneath there would be a, a gap I guess uh, so let me just go and fill this in here like this and uh, yeah so if I guys you tell what, if I fill the uh, these gaps in with dirt uh, then that way I can just place the uh, the other blue wall uh, on the the dirt like this because I need to leave gaps and then I can go and destroy all of the the dirt afterwards so uh, this pattern's going to go along here like this and then we need to do the the same uh, but with uh, with purple because uh, we are now uh, getting to the the other side so you see this is uh, the very middle of the the game uh, so now we're basically going to be doing the the exact same thing uh, but with uh, purple and pink uh, rather with blue and that is literally exactly uh, what the the game is going to to be so uh, there then needs to be purple there and then let's do the the same here. I can see the uh, <laughs> the slimes excitably jumping up and down. I think they're watching us building the the game, and they're getting excited about playing it because it's going to be uh, as much about a, a game for them uh, as it's going to be for for us actually playing it. <laughs> so let's go and break this away. So you can imagine that guiding the uh, the slime uh, through here without it dropping down any of these holes uh, is hopefully uh, going to be quite a, a good challenge. But that only makes it more rewarding uh, if you're actually able to to do it. So now I'm going to go and do another line here. Uh, which is going to be the the purple wall. So I'm basically now uh, just copying uh, what I did on the the other side, uh, but on this side. So now I need to go and grab my pink wall, and I can go and build this uh, along here like this. And uh, then I need to do the uh, the two gaps, uh, which are going to be on this side. So this one's going to be a uh, purple wall here along like this, and then there's going to be the the gap. Uh, then another line of purple wall, and then the the pink wall. And uh, looks like William Beaver uh, is doing a, a good job uh, starting off uh, adding in the uh, the uh, the redstone on that side. And by the looks of things, uh, he is having the exact same amount of trouble as I was. <laughs> Where's Polly Reindeer when you need her? <laughs> She's always been the uh, the master at redstone. All right then, let's go and uh, uh, keep placing this uh, along down here. Uh, and then I need to add the uh, the little staircase area on the other side, uh, so that if uh, the other slime falls down, uh, you can go and bring it back to the the start because remember you don't take turns in this game uh, you're both playing uh, at the the exact same time uh, which means that uh, this whole underneath area is connected but you're not allowed to just go and uh, bring the the slime underneath to the other person's side <laughs> the slime has to go uh, along the the top and I should also uh, try and fill in these gaps here because these bits uh, look a little bit ugly and uh, we also need to go and uh, fill in uh, the uh, the different colored wool uh, which is going to be uh, underneath the entire area as well so let's go and uh, fill this in purple here like this and uh, then this is going to be uh, purple here as well and purple here and then the same here and uh, then I'm going to go and try and add in uh, the uh, the two little staircases uh, which are going to be on this side here so uh, let me try and work out uh, where it's going to be so I think there's one stripe here uh, of the the pink wall like this and then the the staircases uh, are going to be down here and all I don't know whether the um I don't know if this redstone's going to get in the, the way at all. It looks like William Beaver's built it on the, the front. Uh, I don't know if it's going to, to fit in. It might. Actually, no, I don't think it does. Uh, I think the, the redstone uh, needs to go around the, the back. Uh, but I wouldn't worry about that for now. Let's just try and uh, get the, the rest of the uh, the pit done and add all of the, the colored wool down there. And uh, while William Beaver does that, I'm going to go and try and add in the uh, the staircases uh, on this side here, uh, just in case the, the slime falls down. Because it'd be good uh, to try and have a, a little bit of a, a test to go at the at the end uh, just to see whether the the game works so it's gonna have to be uh, this height here and then I feel actually no this can't be filled in because uh, that's where the the slimes going to need to go and uh, then this needs to be like I think it's like this I believe is it like that and then this uh, all needs to be uh, this height here. I think that's how it is. Because, uh, yeah, that would uh, allow the, the slime to get up. And uh, then I just need to go and uh, do the same on this side here. So this would be like that and like that as well. And then this will be filled in down here. And then uh, we just need to go and add in uh, all of the, the walls here. And then the, the floor underneath down here uh, as well. So uh, all we need to do is, uh, yeah, exactly what William Beaver's doing. We need to go and just uh, fill it all in. So this half is going to be the, the light blue wall. And then the other half... Uh, 
there's going to be the uh, the pink wall. And uh, once we've filled this in, I'm going to go and grab my slimes, and I'm going to go uh, give it a very quick test to go, uh, just to see uh, whether it is at all possible. <laughs> I'm hoping it should be, because the slimes, uh, they don't sliver and they don't walk, uh, they just jump everywhere. Uh, so I'm hoping uh, that they should be able uh, to relatively easy, uh, easily go and uh, jump over uh, all of these gaps. And uh, I've realised I haven't thought about how we're going to get out of here yet. <laughs> I don't really know what's going to happen if you accidentally fall down the, the hole uh, rather than the, the slime. I guess you could kind of just build a block and then destroy it again to get back out. <laughs> right then, this is uh, pretty much done. Now let's go and uh, get rid of uh, some of these um, uh, these coloured, uh, not these coloured blocks, these uh, these um, uh, jungle blocks. And uh, now I'm going to go and uh, try and get my slimes uh, into the, the game. So if I uh, break this, uh, hopefully the uh, the slimes are going to, to follow me and uh, jump their way into the, the game. Here they come! <laughs> they come out oh, and straight down down the hole. I didn't think about that, did I? Let's put a, uh, another block back here, <laughs> and then hopefully the uh, the next one. Who's this? This is this is blue. Right. Hopefully blue can follow me and uh, won't fall straight down. Now this way, blue. This way, follow me. Oh no, it's following William Beaver. <laughs> right then, William Beaver. Do you want to try and uh, see if you can make blue jump over one of the the gaps? Try and get it to the the pink side if you can, and uh, try. And oh no, I fell down one of the holes. <laughs> Let's see if you can make it jump the gap. And oh, nearly. Did it do it? Oh no, it's following me now. Right, okay, I'm gonna have a go. Let's see if I can get it following me. Then if I jump over, is it gonna jump over? Oh no, it slipped down! <laughs> I think this is going to be a very difficult game, but you can see that if I run over here, if it's following me, uh, it's gonna follow me to these uh, these stairs, and I should be able to go and uh, bring it back up. I can see it somewhere around here. <laughs> and uh, because we're all gonna be playing against each other, uh, it means that... um. Oh uh, yeah, you can try and make the uh, the other person's slime follow you uh, just to make it harder. So let's see if I can get them up. Oh look, they're both following me. Right, let me have a, another go and uh, see if I can make it jump one of the, the gaps. I guess the trick will be to try and get it right on the, the edge like this and then jump over so its next jump will go straight over. I don't think uh, I'm very good at it. I think uh, this is definitely uh, going to be uh, a game uh, which is going to, to take a little bit of practice to, to get good at. It's fun though. <laughs> I like it because it's a really simple silly game and I like uh, silly games. Right, here we go. Come on, Blue. Yes, look! Blue did it. Blue just jumped the gap. Can we do another one? Come on, Blue. Big jump. And oh, no. Nope. <laughs> there was a little bit of glory and then Blue fell down. Uh, right then, so what we're going to do then is that we're going to finish off the, the game. Uh, just fill in any of the, the gaps here and uh, also get the uh, the redstone working on the, the front here. And uh, then we'll have a few tester goes just to get a bit of practice in. And then in the, the next episode, uh, I'll invite uh, a few more of my friends in and uh, we can have a slime time tournament. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Sorry, Gregory Jr. I know you've just been sitting back here, but at least you're sitting somewhere slightly different uh, to where you were sitting before. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear, but sadly, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. I want to say a very big thank you to William Beaver uh, for joining me and uh, helping me uh, getting the uh, the game done, and a very big thank you to you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!